future of dogs rescued from kinship kennels uncertain senate hopeful square off body found in burning pickup truck these stories and more just ahead on community news review this is community news review service wscs tv news content provided by whbl Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Monday, October 8th, 2018. The future of the dogs rescued from kinship kennels in the town of Wilson last June is uncertain. On Friday, Judge L. Edward Stengel sentenced Christy Tuchel to 12 months in jail and eight years probation with an order that she is not allowed to have pets or animals during that time. The 36 dogs that were rescued have been cared for by the Humane Society, and District Attorney Joel Ermanski tells WHBL News that the forfeiture of the dogs has not yet been determined. Tuchel's co-defendant, Anthony Keyport, is expected to be sentenced this Friday. Incumbent Senator Tammy Baldwin and challenger Leah Vukmore are set to have their first debate tonight. The two will meet at UW-Milwaukee for their first of three debates headed into the midterm election next month. Expected topics of discussion tonight will be Baldwin's role in the reforms at the Toma VA Medical Center, immigration reform, and the Republican tax cut plans. Tonight's debate starts at 6 p.m. and will be heard on various radio stations on JS Online. Greenfield police are looking for answers about a body found inside of a burned out pickup truck. Officers got a call from a neighbor about a vehicle on fire in the 5600th block of Parking Street about 4 a.m. on Sunday. After firefighters put the fire out, they found a body inside of the car. Greenfield police are not saying who it is or how they died. The medical examiner was called to the area and is assisting to determine the cause of death. Police are asking neighbors for tips about the case. And Governor Scott Walker's father has passed away, according to a tweet from Walker's official account on Sunday. Sorry to share that my father, Reverend Lulwin Scott Walker, has died this morning. Happy to know that he is now with his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, wrote Walker on his official governor's account. His personal account shared more details this weekend, including a request for prayers for his father on Saturday evening. He later wrote that his dad was doing a bit better. Walker concluded by saying, my dad and mom went to everything my brother and I were in over the years and did the same for our kids too, from sporting events to band concerts to scout ceremonies. I will miss him always being there. Walker's opponent, Tony Evers, sent out his support to the Republicans, saying, I know how hard it is to lose a parent, and we are thinking of you and your entire family. Walker served as a pastor at churches in both Iowa and Wisconsin, and he is survived by his wife, Patricia, and two sons, Scott and David, and several grandchildren. October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month and is a good time to give yourself and your online accounts a good once over. State Consumer Protection Director Michelle Reinen says that one of the best things to do to keep yourself safe online is to lock down your primary email account. Be sure that password is very strong and where possible, use two-factor authentication to get in. Since you use that account to register for other things like social media or online banking, if a crook gets access to your email, they can potentially get access to everything else you have online. Reining suggests using something long but easy to remember, like your favorite musical lyric with numbers and capital letters. 
The idea is to have a password that is easy for you to remember, but hard for a computer to guess. And the more characters and numbers you have, the safer that password will be from being broken into by hackers. And finally, the Milwaukee Brewers have earned a break after sweeping the Colorado Rockies in the NLDS. The National League Championship Series will begin Friday at Miller Park, and Brewers play-by-play -play voice Jeff Levering and guest on WTAQ's Morning News with Matt and Earl says the month of September and into October has been a magical time for the team. We've just had quality at-bats. The pitching staff has really stepped up. So has the bullpen. Everybody has been chipping in. And the pitching staff has been working hard with no starter going more than five innings. Levering says the playoffs games have been a good challenging for the bullpen. And the manager used all those guys, basically three games in four days. And most of those pitchers are not used to working that much. As for the two, as for who the Brewers would match up best in the next round, Levering says the team will either go east or west. Both of the Atlanta Braves and the Los Angeles Dodgers have elements of their game that will be good test for the crew. I think the Braves might be the better matchup in terms of what they might be able to go do offensively. They're a young team, aggressive team, and the Dodgers have a great pitching. When the Brewers face the winners of the Dodgers, Braves, and LDS, there will be a trip to the World Series on the line. The first two games of the NLCS will be Friday and Saturday at Miller Park, and the next three games will be in Atlanta or Los Angeles, October 15th, 16th, and 17th, and games 6 and 7 will be back at Miller Park October 19th and 20th. In the meantime, Levering says the team will enjoy the time off. And that is our report for Monday, October 8th. Join me again next time for another recap of our local news on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.